11 o'clock at night, probably 12, and we've just made it to Squash. I got a passion for Bellini, and then you got a what? Peach margarita. She got a peach margarita. We're about to get a little hammered. The night is early, and oh, okay, I have to say, bye. We were able to go to the Garden District and really go through this amazing tour and we were able to see some really amazing mansions um, that had amazing architecture. It was perhaps one of my favorite days in New Orleans. But what I really liked was that we were able to see a couple of celebrity homes including one of my all-time favorite, um, Sandra Bullock. So I felt a little bit of a creeper and this is her house right here. Um, she keeps it for her kids. Here at the cemetery and honestly it's I love this tour it's a little to me it's a little eerie but the history section not eerie at all but cemetery just always give me that little vibe uh, but it's quite beautiful how they built them and the history behind of why uh, the residents here used to be buried above ground um, so I'm just trying to get a little bit of shots here but anyways they were built above ground more for vanity reason um, just because the French used to do it that way, they felt that they could do it too. Obviously, it also helped too because the um, if you bury people six feet under with all the water here in Louisiana, people can actually resurface. So there was also a, a little bit of that, but mainly it was vanity according to our tour guide. Um, so yeah, look how cool that looks. A little fun fact on the way that the New Orleans residents were buried. Um, back in the day, they were actually not allowed to cremate the bodies, but because they are buried above ground, it is so hot in New Orleans that the um, tomb naturally cremates the body. So that was pretty cool to know. Um, also, the tombs are always made to look like the residents' main home. We're now doing some shopping. Um, this street has like all these amazing stores and I better be careful because I don't want to get run over or is it run over? Whatever the word is. Anyway, um, it's just so cute. Oh, they will come and see us, visit us for a while. You gotta love bloopers. Anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty cute here. I really like it. I just bought some items in one of us, one store that had a lot of local artists, so. Here's just a little bit. It's 8 o'clock right now. We're here at Jackson Square and um, we're walking to dinner, which I'm not sure where to. Uh, it's pretty busy here. However, we just left Bourbon Street where it was super like busy and chaotic. Um, so it feels nice to be here. I know it looks busy, but still feels a lot better than being over there. But it looks really pretty. It's, again, it's 8 o'clock, but it's really bright and out, and it's not hot anymore like it was earlier. So, yeah, we're here. Sisters for brunch, selected by my friend Dora, and we are sitting in the outside courtyard. And as you can see, it's covered by these beautiful vines, which provide all the shade. And then there's music playing. It's really cute, very popular. Like it was actually hard to get reservations, and I am having this. So now we're just gonna go ahead and enjoy our brunch, and then just um, enjoy the rest of the day. So. This is Jackson Square. It was actually one of my favorite locations in the French Quarter. It was fun to just walk around through all the shops and also to have dinner there or just lunch. It was one of my favorite places. New Orleans was a fun trip and I cannot wait to go back. Everything about it was pretty amazing. Everything from the food to just walking around seeing the architecture. I honestly cannot wait to go back. This does conclude my video and I hope you did enjoy it.